Ubuntu uh, 7 or Feisty Fawn. There's a couple of things I can do here. First thing I'm going to do is I've got an NTFS partition with some MP3s and video files and you know MIDI's and media and things that I'd like to access. So I want to make that accessible to my Linux system. I need to install a few things. Um, and I'll do a sudo. Remember, sudo is sort of like uh, the user account control in Vista. So I'm just going to go ahead and list my partitions here. And OK, and let's, it's in this case, it's showing up here. Here's my NTFS uh, partition right here. And this is what I'm actually wanting to mount. So the command we want to use, again, we need to use sudo. We're not logged in as root. We're logged in as cgermany, but we need temporary root privileges. So it'll be sudo apt-get to install. And this is a nice little command line program. Not only will it install packages, Debian packages, but it'll actually go out online and access yum servers and update servers and look for them. I want to use the command install. And I want to look for ntfs uh, 3g this particular package. And lastly, do I want to continue? I'm going to say yes. And it's just downloading it uh, from the internet. And downloading. Okay, and now that it's installed, um, my kernel will support reading in TFS. So again, I want to go and look where that particular partition is. Okay, now it's here I can see that it's DEVHDA3. So that's the particular hard drive that I would like to mount to access that NTFS partition uh, our file system. Um, I'm going to use the command cd dot dot and dot dot to recurse up two directories to the home directory. I'm going to make a directory and I will just call it media. Now there is a media directory. Um, oh, pardon me to use sudo there. There, there is a directory already there that um, is called media, but that's lowercase media. And I'm doing using the command ls. That was a long listing to give you permissions. LSA, that'll show you hidden folders. And I'll just give you an ls out here, and we can kind of see what's going on. Now, notice there's already a media. That's the default. And if I were to go into media, I'll do an ls. Any mounted device, um, could be a hard drive, could be CD-ROM, floppy, they would appear in this folder. And in order to access the, in order to access the contents of that hard drive or that CD-ROM or floppy, I would go into this folder, and I could, you know, whatever I could do to that folder, I could do to the contents of that hard drive or partition or CD-ROM. I'm going to recurse back out. Um, you know, no, notice Linux is case sensitive, so capital MEDIA is different from lowercase. Um, I'm going to look at the permissions here. I'm going to use a command called chmod, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But um, for now, I just want to make sure that you know I have complete permission on that folder. And I'm going to chmod and go ahead and give myself full permissions there. And we'll check that out. And now you can see I've got read, write, execute for the user, um, the group attribute, and other. And, and now what I want to do, what I want to do is mount that drive. So I'm going to do sudo fdis-l. Again, I've you know made sure that I know where the device is, and I'm going to use the mount command. This should. And again, we want to sudo. and list any partitions we have. In this case, this right here is my Windows XP Professional partition. 
this is my Windows Vista partition and this is my data partition with my media files and that's the command f test show um, you know here is my system partition my you know mounted with my root point and my swap partition or excuse me my, my swap partition and my system partition so let's go up here and I don't have anything mounted we use the mount command so I want to use sudo to get root privileges and I want to say mount and the option dash t I want to use NTFS 3G um, the device which is HDA3 and then the, my destination folder that I created which is media and then I'm going to pass an option in um, read only in this case notice when I do that it appears up here and it, as a mounted drive I'll double click on it and we can open it and browse its contents so here's our, our NTFS drive there's all our good stuff on it and here's the good stuff I wanted the movies and the the music files and things like that so okay now to unmount the drive just use the command U mount so I'm gonna go U mount dash T excuse me uh media and now you can see the drive is no longer mounted